YouTube. So we are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, and we are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 51 of 113. So today we are going to return a value from a function with return. So that's kind of the whole point of functions is they can perform logic within them and they can return a value. So return is a keyword. Okay. So we can pass values into functions with arguments. We just did that in the last challenge. You can use a return statement to send a value back out of a function. So we can see from our example here, we have our function that we're used to seeing, and we are returning within the curly brackets. So the code block that executes when the function is called, we are returning one of the arguments modified. So we're manipulating one of the arguments and returning that. And then this is simply just setting the function as a variable because whatever a function returns, it is equal to. So this plus three, passing it five, is equal to the return of that. So if we say answer equals plus three, as in the function call, this is a instance of this function. This is ex saying the exact same thing as answer equals num plus three, because that's what's being returned from the function and num being whatever we pass in. I hope that made sense, but it's just important to remember that the function, whatever it returns, you can hold it in a variable by setting it equal to that function. So we're going to create a function called five or times five that accepts one argument, multiplies it by five and returns the value. Okay. So we want to create a function. So we're going to say function and it's going to be called times five camel cased. And it's going to take in a number. So we pass in whatever number it's going to take in as an argument, because this is a reusable function. This is basically a variable, but it's a parameter it's taking in. And then we need our curly brackets because it is a function. And then we are going to return whatever it takes in, which is num times five. Okay. That's all we should have to do for that one. But the way this is working is again, if we say const, uh, times five, so that's a variable similar to say x by five, and it's equal to times five as in our function. So this again, because we see the parentheses, this is an instance of this function. When we pass it five, this will be, this x by five will be equal to the return of this function because we called it and it returns that. So then if we console dot log x by five, you can see we have 25. So x by five is equal to 25 because five times or times five passing in five returns five times five. Hope that made sense. Hope you followed the logic through that. But that's all we should have to do for this one. And see you in the next lesson.